Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you're well. In today's reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the week ahead psychic predictions. So this is not a pick a card, it is a general reading. And the reading, the purpose here of this reading is to just assist you in um, figuring everything out, figuring out what needs to be done here and figuring out what needs to happen. I hope you are well. And yeah, what else do I need to say? Oh yeah, it's really hot here, so all the windows are open. It might be a little louder. So if that's bugging you, just be aware of that. So let me go ahead and connect. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of the collective regarding the week ahead? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for the collective so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I was hearing that crow outside. Some of you might be receiving messages from crow, a very um, spiritual creature, at least in my opinion. So pay close attention if you start to see a lot of birds. Someone's gonna get some specific answers this week you've been hoping for. I also just heard the word tick, okay, tick. So be careful here, especially if you're going outside where you could potentially um, meet a tick. It's very, very important that you guard yourself. Some of you may be starting your period this week and there, it might be a very intense period, just saying. Someone could find out that they're being audited, unfortunately. You could start a new book. Um, there is there is like some sort of drama around you, I'm getting like some kind of gossip. Spirit wants you to be kind of careful of how much you're gonna involve yourself, okay? Tell me about the collective energy for the week ahead. So your retrograde with review. Well, retrograde shadow period will start, you know, this week, probably, I think it was on the 16th. It's kind of when the shadow period begins. So some of you could be picking up on the upcoming Mercury retrograde. So what does that mean? Well, I want you to be very aware of like being stable, being to the point, being balanced. All of that is very, very important here. I don't want you to get in your head about things either. I want you to just be in your own balanced energy, neutral. With that retrograde card though, make sure you're double, triple checking everything that's going out this week, especially if you're taking care of important communication. You have Iman Kali with Root. Yeah, some of you are looking back at your life and kind of trying to figure out like, okay, how did we get to this level? How did I get to this space? And what can I do differently? Um, I feel like you're just really ready for a transformation. You're kind of tired of having like the same old, same old. You're ready for a change. With Amen Kali too, you could be looking at your roots. How can I make myself more stable? How can I make myself more balanced? And what do I need to do about this going forward? What else? You have Jupiter with abundance. Some of you are going to get a lot more serious this week about your money, your money plans. You're just kind of like ready to make changes. I think that there's this energy of just wanting to put your money towards, you know, what you really want to build. And so this week as well with Jupiter energy, there could be significant luck that comes up here as well that I think will make you feel again, very, very happy. There's just this energy of feeling good about yourself. And feeling excited. Putting like your plans into action. What else here? Tell me about pile number, not pile. What does the collective energy hold for the week ahead? We have wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now's the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Yeah, the first word I heard was answers, I think, right? So um, you're very wise this week. <clears throat> now, this could also mean you guys are going to start to have people ask you for help. I could see that happening too. You know, maybe you're gonna be asked for some advice. You're gonna be asked for some honesty. There's just this, this understanding that that's definitely a possibility here. And I think one of the things that Spirit is wanting you to be aware of here is like, if someone is asking you for advice, give them your best advice, but don't get too stressed out over it. Do you know what I mean? Just be like open with them about what you truly are thinking. We 
Your magical gateway. Some of you may really feel like you're on some sort of a magical path this week where you could be really feeling and picking up a lot of energy around moving in a positive direction. It takes courage to trust and it takes courage to trust and venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Yeah, some of you are ready to change something, that's for sure. If you're over it, like you don't want to continue to kind of create the same type of energy for yourself. You want something new. You want something new, you want a new um, approach. You're ready for a new approach. But if you get it like an opportunity to travel or something like this too, I would highly, highly recommend that because it would be very eye-opening for you. We also have find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. This week as well, some of you may find you're overly tired or you're just feeling like you need to rest more. What is stopping you from doing this? You know, don't stop doing that. Like, if you feel tired, rest. If you feel like you need a break, rest. There's absolutely no shame in that, okay? Um, and I do feel like some of you are struggling a little bit with that. You're struggling with finding balance. And that needs to stop. Tell me what else, please. What else do we need to know for the week ahead? Yeah, we have anxiety, but the card came up in reverse. Overthinking, worrying, stress, confusion. I think this week you're finally seeing how, like, how to move forward with something. I really do. I think you are being asked to trust the process. And if you are getting, like, information from spirit about what you need to do, um, follow through on it. They're not just giving you these ideas for no specific reason, if that makes sense. Like you are really being asked to just trust yourself and to trust the process. But I feel if you've been anxious, especially over the last few weeks, that you're now getting to the space where you're a little bit more balanced and calm and safe. We have new addition to the family also came up. So some of you could be pregnant or find out you're pregnant this week. Others of you might um, hear positive news of someone getting pregnant around you or um, purchasing some kind of an animal, somehow expanding the family. So that's awesome. But there's just like answers coming through, uh, like a desire to move forward, to see the way forward. I think it's so crucial that you just remember to um, put one foot in front of the other. But yeah, there's definitely this energy of expansion, growth, more calmness as well, which is awesome. What else here? Tell me about the collective in the week ahead. We have Shaolin Master, be graceful in movement and action. Beautiful. Yeah, I love this energy. I think some of you are really in your energy field this week of like just making power moves. Whether you're like sharing that with other people or not, it doesn't matter. You are personally doing this because it's very important for you. You just are crushing it. Like you're coming up with some sort of a goal and you're working on it, you're working to move forward, you're working to clear, you're working to figure it out. I think this week you're taking good care of something and you're trying to figure it out. People are gonna see you as very masterful this week. What else? We have arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. I almost thought that said positive energy, but either way, I like the arrow card a lot because to me, it indicates this week you're on some sort of a path. You have like a plan of action. You have a direction you want to go and you're going to focus on it. You're not letting it go, you're putting in the effort to move forward, you're putting in the effort to clear forward.
but with this does actually say protective, not positive, right? So I also want you to be aware that you might just need to be very um, protective of yourself this week, especially when it comes to coming up with like new ideas or new ways of thinking. You always want to make sure that you are protective, keeping yourself balanced, not oversharing with people who you can't trust, and staying steady and focused on whatever the path is that you're looking to build this week. That's going to be very important as well. What else here do we need to know? I'm going to use this deck. I just feel like there could be a lot of room for expansion this week, especially if you're willing to review the past and then make different decisions. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me about the collective energy, please, for the week. Oh my God, yeah, it's crazy. We were just talking about this. Keep things to yourself. Keep some things to yourself. You don't have to tell everyone everything about your life. Someone may be waiting to throw salt on your game or gossip about your business to others. Some things are meant to be kept between you and spirit. Keep it that way. Yeah, you don't need to tell anybody what you're up to, really. Especially people who are not, um, who are not good for you. I think that there's this need for you to just remember that not everybody is going to have your best interests at heart. And not everybody deserves to know what you're doing, okay? We have living responsibly. And then I was looking at that fine balance card. So I think another theme this week is to really be very um, mindful, especially of your resources. Live comfortably and responsibly within your means. Don't get yourself into trouble by trying to keep up with the Joneses or trying to live in a lifestyle your bank account is not ready for. It's okay to be your own unique self without any facades or over-the-top embellishments. Being humble cultivates an abundant environment and will get you further than living irresponsibly. Yes, I love it. Um, this is definitely a good week to mind your resources, to be very balanced, to approach things in an um, intelligent way. Don't, don't spend or do anything without really, you know, thinking it through first. Don't make unconscious decisions. I think that that's really important. We have renewal, new cycle, manifestation, new start, conception. I think one of the things I'm also feeling here is this energy of needing to rest, needing to be at ease. And if you do need that, if you need some space to sleep, to give back to yourself, it's because there's a big change happening. So keep that in mind as well. And Spirit's not punishing you by making you overtired. They're trying to prepare you, is what they're saying to me. So give yourself space. Be grounded. Keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees. Keep to your roots. Remember who you are. Don't tell people. Touch grass. Touch grass. I think that's really important as well. Giving yourself space. But yeah, grounded energy, stable energy, keeping things to yourself, being mindful of your resources, resting. All of these are kind of themes of the week. I think you're getting prepared for something here. And honestly, I've I've never been busy. I, I feel like people are just really going through a ton right now. So if that's you, just know that spirit is supporting you in terms of getting to the next stage. You're not going to be stuck in this weird energy forever, I promise. Even though it might sometimes feel like it. So just be aware of that, okay, my loves? There's no need to stress. There's no need to feel like overly freaked out. You got this. 
So that's what I have. Sending you a big hug, my loves. I hope you're well. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.